what's up guys Marco here welcome back to another lesson let's explore the minor blues in this lesson I'm gonna show you how to play a simple minor blues in the key of E minor so what are the chords that we need to play a minor blues well we need the chord 1 which in this case is the E minor chord the chord 4 which is the A minor chord and also the chord 6, which is usually a major chord, but we're going to play it as a dominant 7 chord, so a C7 chord. And also the chord 5, which is usually a minor chord, but in this case we're going to play it as a dominant 7 chord, so the B7. So E minor, A minor, C7, and B dominant 7. Now, in which structure are we going to play these chords? We're going to follow the 12 bar blues structure. And this is very simple. We're going to have the E minor chord for four bars. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Bar number two, bar number three, one, two, three, and bar number four, one. Then we have A minor for two bars, two, three, and four, and one, back to the E minor for two bars and one now the C7 for one bar the B7 for one bar and the E minor for one bar and back to the B7 so it's kind of a pretty simple chord structure and with these basic chords played like this it's actually really fun to play of course we're going to add a little bit more to these blues in fact we're going to start with a short intro that sounds like this so i'm playing this short intro before i actually play the chord one and it starts with a nice uh, bluesy phrase on the front number three e string open b string open the front number three on the b string and the e string open again it's a nice bluesy phrase Then we have the bass, so the low E string, the thumb slap and strum with open strings, so just a thumb slap on the low E string, and I strum the top three strings. And then I'm gonna play the bass note again, and then this riff, which is just three notes. The B on the fret number two, the D, and the E on the fret number two. And then we're gonna finish with the B7 chord which is played with two, one, two, zero, and two. When I put the whole thing together. Now once you have the intro, you can then play the chord one, which we already learned that is the E minor chord. And this chord is played over four measures. Now, we're gonna break down each bar into movements. For example, the bar number one has seven different movements or seven different parts. It's this one. So I have the part number one and two is about playing the melody. So we have the melody on fret number seven and fret number eight with the bass note, the low E string. I plug the string simultaneously and I use the thumb, middle and ring. And then just the B and the E string open. So eight and zero. Then I will have the thumb slap. So the movement number three, the bass, the low E string, and then the riff, which is always three notes. The fret number two, zero and two. So I have these seven different parts. Now the measure number two um, is slightly different. We have eight parts. So we have the bass, the low E string, the thumb slap and strum, bass, and then the melody on fret number seven, 10, eight, and seven again. So when I put the measure one and two together, I have a nice little thing. Mm -hmm. 
Now measure three and four is still the E minor chord and we're gonna kind of repeat the same thing. So the measure number three starts with the bass, which is the lowest string. And then we have the thumb slap and strum again. And then the bass and then the riff. So the riff is always the same, just three notes on two, zero and two. And then we finish with the uh, measure four, which is slightly different because we're gonna have to play a melody, which is gonna lead us into the A minor chord, which is the chord four. So we're gonna play the bass, the thumb slap and strum, the bass again, and then three more notes. D fret uh, number three, the note D on the B string, the E string open, and then the low E string. So when I put the whole thing together slowly, the first four measures, Now we're gonna change the chord, but we're gonna keep the same rhythmic structure. And that's the interesting thing. When we play the blues, we always wanna kind of repeat or you know bring in the same rhythmic and melodic ideas. So the chord four is the A minor chord, and we are playing the measure five and six. It sounds like this. So we're gonna open up with this lovely A minor seven, um, which is played with uh, just the uh, A, the G, the C on the fret number one, and the G on the fret number three. We're gonna pluck the strings simultaneously, it's four strings. And then we're gonna play the melody within the chord with the E string open, so we're just gonna change the you know singing note of this chord. And I'm plucking the top three strings. Then I have the thumb slap, the bass, which is the A, and then I have the riff, which is basically the same three notes, just on a different set of strings. I have the fret number two on the D string, the G string open, and the fret number two on the G string. So it's basically the same riff, the same notes, the same structure, just one set of strings higher. So. And then we have the uh, measure number six, which is very simple. We're gonna play the bass, the thumb slap and strum, the bass, and then the melody, which is four notes, seven, 10, eight, and the E string open. It's a nice little phrase. which is going to lead us into the E minor chord. So we are back uh, playing the chord one. And this chord one is very simple because we more or less already um, learned it. So we have the bass, thumb slap and strum, bass, the riff, And then we have the uh, last measure, which is the bass again, thumb slap and strum, bass, and then just two notes, the note D on the fret number three, and the E string open. So when I put together the A minor and the E minor, Now, the last few chords, we have the chord six and the chord five, which is a pretty nice section to play. So I have the C7 and I'm gonna play it like this on three, nothing, three, nothing, three. And I play these chords, this chord twice with thumb index and ring. Then the fret number two on the E string and the fret number zero 
So I'm gonna play this melody within the chord. And I finish with the B7, which is basically the same chord, just one fret back. And then we play the same phrase that we played in the intro. Then we have the bass, thumb slap and strum, bass, the riff, and we finish with the B7. So it's basically the same as the intro, it's pretty interesting. Let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of awesome classes. Now, one of the reasons why I love Skillshare is because there are so many different classes in just one place. You can learn about animation, creative writing, film and video, music, and I really like the lifestyle and productivity classes, as well as the marketing classes. Now, right now, I'm going through one interesting class, which is called Productivity for Creatives by Tanner Christensen. And I find it really interesting because there are things that resonate with me quite a lot. And look at these classes. I mean, there are literally nine lessons so that you can go through the course quickly, get the ideas that you need, and then you can move on to the next thing. Now, the cool thing is that you can access this class as well as all the other classes on Skillshare for free. The first thousand people who click the link down below can access a full membership with Skillshare for free for a limited period of time. And then if you like it, you can sign up for less than 10 bucks a month. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, I wanted to add something nice and cool to play at the end of this uh, blues. So I decided to play this nice riff. Now you already know most of this section. So the only thing that you have to learn is this uh, pentatonic phrase that I played at the beginning, which is on fret number 10 and 12 with a hammer on. Then I have 10, 12, 10, 8, 9, 7, 9, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 6, 5, and three. Now the first time we're gonna play this phrase with the low E string on the bass. And then we have the E minor chord, which is played with the same chord, thumb slap and riff that we already learned. And then we have the same pentatonic phrase, but with the A on the bass. And then back to the E minor chord. It's the same thing. And then we finish with the C7. And the B7, same phrase. And I finish with this chord, which is a beautiful sounding chord. I don't know if it sounds, you know, nice with these blues. It's kind of a little bit out of place. And I'm playing zero, two, five, two, three, and two. It's a stretchy chord, so if you don't like it, you can finish with an E minor seven, which is way easier. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this little minor blues. Take it step by step, learn the structure, and then put it together slowly. Enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you next time.